weird knockoff McDonald's restaurant. They've got the branding and everything. It's amazing. First of all, I think it's important to, for people to know what is IP that you can register. First, you have trademarks. Okay. Trademarks are your brands, your slogans, the logos. Those are things that you can register. There's many things startups should consider when doing business, making sure that you have contracts in place, whether internally between shareholders or with employees or with other companies, service providers that you're uh, uh, contracted to for any services that they provide your startup. Hi guys, so today I have someone really special for you. Mohamed Adib is a good friend and is actually my lawyer. So why don't you tell me a little bit more about your um, firm in particular and why it differs from those that surround us. Sure, uh, first of all, thank you for having me, Sabrina. Such a pleasure. Uh, so Eldib & Co is a full service law firm uh, founded in 1875, we're quite uh, uh, historic really, uh, I'm the fourth generation from my family to be a how, partner. How does that feel? Uh, is a lot of pressure? Not at all, I mean it's just part of the legacy and it's just uh, uh, something I enjoy doing at the end of the day. When you look at the West and you look at how much focus is put on trademarking a brand or uh, doing this or that or protecting your brand so to say, I feel like whenever a conversation is kind of brought up here, they, it's always made out to be such a difficult process and something that has no end. So why not just not go through it? Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? So first of all, I think it's important to, for people to know what is IP that you can register. Okay. First, you have trademarks. Okay. Trademarks are your brands, your slogans, uh, the logos, those are things that you can register uh, as yours. Trademarks registration uh, lasts for 10 years okay. and you can renew them uh, ongoing as much as you want. Something that people don't know as well is that once you do register a trademark that you have protection and it's enforceable as well. No matter the size of your company, you have the same protection. Okay. So uh, a startup has the same protection that your global... So I think most people don't know that. Second most popular type or category of mm -hmm. IP would be patents. Okay. Uh, patents can be pharmaceutical, mechanical. Uh, there's many different types of patents. What is a patent? It's something that's completely novel. It's an invention that... Uh, it's new. It's new. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, the three-point seat belt in all cars mm -hmm. was, was a patented idea by Volvo actually in Sweden mm -hmm. but because it was something that can help the uh, global safety of, of drivers around the world they uh, licensed it to all car companies. Mm -hmm. uh, then you have industrial designs. Mm -hmm. Industrial designs would be for example something like the shape of a Coca-Cola bottle. It has a very distinct design. Yeah. That's a registered design. That's registered okay. as an industrial design. Okay. Industrial designs are usually registered before the product is launched uh, into the market. Finally, uh, would be uh, uh, copyrights. Hmm. Copyrights are artistic work. Uh, literature, movies, photography, uh, music. Mm -hmm. Those are all registered as copyrights. Mm -hmm. Egypt is a country that has three different government authorities for, for the different categories. You have the trademark office, you have the patent office, then you have uh, the copyrights office. Uh, whereas most countries around the world would usually have that under one umbrella. Real life scenarios that I've dealt with where uh, clients uh, launched an app or a website or a brand and never registered their, mm -hmm. their trademark. And then uh, months later, uh, they find out that uh, someone has imitated their brand mm. uh, or has registered their brand before they could. Then they come 
to us and that's where we play a big role in trying to as much as we can um, find the best possible remedy for that whether uh, for them to go ahead and start uh, filing for their IP or uh, for um, us to try to negotiate with the counterpart and um, try to tell them that what they did is done with, in bad faith and uh, so yes we totally Does see that, that all the time it can yeah I mean I, I want to say that in our experience I want to say that maybe around 78 to 80 percent of disputes are resolved amicably and without having to okay. go to court or without having to go to uh, arbitration or any sort of litigation and that's the trend people want to avoid uh, lawyer fees mm -hmm. and uh, avoid court fees and all that I want my client to feel comfortable and to know that he can call me at any time without having to worry oh, is this phone call going to cost me or not mm -hmm. so I think having someone that you can trust and that you can uh, raise any issues with at, at any time without hesitating as well so get a good lawyer get a good therapist you will do well